Gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the Chief Technical Officer for Surface Tech, where we bring new and emerging technologies to the concrete construction and asphalt industry. I have young Derek Davis here with me today, one of the representatives from Surface Tech High Five on the Live. We're here to do a quick interview today, but um, just wanted to welcome you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Derek comes from San Diego, Texas? Close, California. California. And was gracious enough to come out here this past week to help us with our ASTMC 1709 evaluation process for the Juno product. And so far, what did you think? It's great. I love being in the thick of things and being involved with what, 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 what is really going on behind the scenes. You know, it's one thing to say, hey, we've got this great product uh, in our hat, in our, in our pocket to have, but being there and understanding really what's going on in the specific and the meticulous measurements and everything, all the details. You, you know it. <laughs> you know, the 1709, if you haven't known, it's an evaluation process set up to elucidate the benefits of an alternative supplementary cementitious material, which Juno is, and it's a one year long process where you have to compare the Juno to a reference, test it in a slew of different forms, and then test it in the field too. So Derek was gracious enough to come out here and help us mix, make, and break how many pounds of concrete? We did 2,550 pounds. I woke up this morning. <laughs> I mean, it is just an awesome process. And while we're hanging out talking, Whitney is ripping and stripping samples all by herself, so we really got that. Yeah, she's going to get mad at us here in a little bit. So, jumping into the interview, why don't you tell us who you are, who you work for, and what you do. Hey, my name is Derek Davis. I'm with Surface Tech. I've been with Surface Tech since April. Uh, my title is District Manager, although... More operations manager. Now, and here's the reason why. I do sales, I help with marketing. I'm out here doing making and breaking concrete. So to put myself into one bucket wouldn't necessarily be fair. Swiss Army Knight, jack of all trades, do a plethora of things at Surface Day. And we actually did a run through on this interview a couple of minutes ago, and I called Derek the operations manager because to call you a district manager, it's like saying Pablo Picasso could paint dog houses. Hey, <laughs> the skill set is there, but you've been doing so much for this company and coming out here to learn and make this concrete with us is so valuable you've been in the con well that's my next question how right. long you've been in the industry but making that concrete we're going to be going out to a job site tomorrow actually making it the ready mix plant so this gives you a lot more credibility when you get out there in the industry talking to people about these awesome technologies so the next question is how long have you been in the construction industry so i've been construction for four and a half years uh, I did a long tenure in the software aspect of things, and uh, now I'm over here in the materials. Right on, right on. And, and focusing on materials, what kind, you know, we, we talk about surface tech kind of brings new and emerging technologies to the industry. Right, right. What are some of those technologies? Right, so we've really got, I, I think of them as really two staples uh, behind surface tech. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we've got the ACE fiber on the asphalt side of things, which I know how much you love. Uh, really, and what that does is it reinforces that asphalt, right? We're seeing, uh, you know, crack and rub resistance. Right. We're seeing an increase in service life and strength. Uh, this beautiful aramid fiber that's coated in this aspect wax. Sure. 4.2 ounces to a ton of asphalt. Right. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Now, I think that's probably the first time you've heard anybody talk about asphalt in this, this channel. In this room. Yeah, in this room, right? In this room, on this channel. So what's another, uh, let's get away from asphalt, yeah. great material, uh, let's uh, get into some of the other technologies. Sure, well let's talk about why I'm here, right. is Juno. So Juno is part of our concrete side of things, right. and it's a revolutionary alternative binder. Currently we're doing the ASCMC 1709, this is why I'm here. And in layman's terms, really, what we're taking is some cementitious out, which is our Portland and our fly ash. Mm -hmm. We're placing it with a little bit of Juno, but it all depends on the mix design and what we can do. And what Derek means is that we're using this as part of the concrete composite to keep that great concrete coming down the chute, make it stronger, last longer, give you a value-added performance, saving money, but also saving the environment too. So out of your product lines, my personal favorite. And I will say with both Ace and Juno, no change of process. No, dude. I mean, that's a big thing, yeah. right? So dude. the adoption, dude. there's second to next. Ease right? of adoption. Ease and that's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. What's the last one? 
Tracker. So, software. What we do is, it, John, you love, love Tracker. Okay. Love, love, love Tracker. It's concrete IoT. It really is. You know, ordering materials on the fly, the real time information and the reporting aspect that comes with it. Huh. People love transparency. That's what we're trying to give the industry. I love that you can see the truck leave the plant, come to you. That to yes. me on a job site, because normally when I was working ready mix, and yes, I know I play in the lab, but once upon a time when I had a full head of hair, after, <laughs> I had a I used to work for a ready mix provider and I was the guy who went out to the job site 4.30 in the morning before the truck got there and most of those GCs were like, I would say good morning and they would say where the blankety blank is my concrete. You don't have to ask that question anymore, you just go boop 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 boop. I don't know if phones actually still do those sounds, but it just comes up right on your phone yeah. and you can track, i.e. tracker, where the concrete is starting from and where it's coming to you. I love that. Love that. Easy. And if you don't know what concrete IoT is, it's the concrete Internet of Things where we're connecting what we have to do in the real Crete world with the you know, majesty of the Internet to give us that real-time decision-making power. And I think you said that. As you can tell, Tracker is like, I love Juno. But, and I know Juno is going to change the industry. Right. But taking the industry to the next level, to me that's Tracker. And if you haven't checked it out today, there's an awesome website. I was going to say, surface-tech.com, please come visit it. There's great collateral, there's videos, educational information on the website. There's just so much information that we can provide out to everybody. And this is the guy to talk to. I mean, he's had a uh, many year in the software portion of the construction industry. If you have questions, concerns, and you know what, Derek, you know, there are, there are people who say no to the concrete IoT concept. And they have which reasons. Is, which is okay. It's fair. It's not for it's everybody. Fair. It, well, I wouldn't say it's not for everybody. I think the unless they've been educated, they are ignorant sure. of the education, then it's not for everybody. But this is the person to talk to. I mean, he brings the reality to these software packages and what they can do for the construction industry. We're here to help. We're helped to improve processes, operations. You know, any downtime, we want to make things you know as efficient as possible. Time is money. Wicked. Last question. Deserted Island, if you could bring five books with you, which would they be and why? Okay, so I'll take five and I'll take three of those. <laughs> so let's start with my first one, which is 1984. Now the reason why I chose that, it's about Big Brother, this dystopian, where everything's being watched under a microscope. Mm -hmm. With everything that's been going on today, it's a direct parallel, right? People are being tracked through Facebook. You're getting all of these messages. I've heard people, when you're speaking and you have an application open, let's take Instagram, for example. Let's say we're talking about Nike shoes. Well, I may or may not get an ad for Nike. Well, an ad for Nike. So that is one of the reasons why I chose 1984. I think there's a huge parallel sure. to where we are today. Okay. Second book, Lord of the Flies. Oof. Have you read it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great book. Because what yeah. it does is strip us down to our bear, right? There's there's no order. There's you got you're stuck on an island. So it's really taking it back to our primal instincts. How do we get order? Who's going to step up to be the leadership? The organizational structure, the hierarchy of the island or the boys that are out there. Right. Last book. Last I don't book. know if you have you read this one. It's called Power of One. No. Set in World War II, about a young lad that is abused verbally, physically. Uh -huh. And the reason why I chose it is because it's all about resiliency and being resilient. And whenever you get knocked down, you'll get back up, but you'll do it at even at a higher value. Uh -huh. He turns into a boxing champion. It's a very great book. I recommend it. The Power of One, Lord of the Flies in 1980. Two more books. Real quick. I got none. None. I had to research those. I would bring uh, The Joy of Cooking. Just to help me. Which you're on dessert island. I know. Like remind me of the food that I once had. Tease, yeah, tease myself. And then uh, survival 101. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know if you're gonna be on dessert island. Oh, I brought. I always bring the Constitution with me. Or well, Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. Why? In the bag. Uh, I like to read it every once in a while and remember the liberties and rights that I have. God bless America. God bless America. So thanks for joining us today. We've got a whole bunch of information that we passed to you of young Derek Davis. If you have any questions, any comments, any concrete concerns, don't forget to 
address them to us so we can answer them, especially about Juno and these awesome technologies that can help save the world with all the concrete in it. And asphalt. And asphalt. I'm Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm Derek Davis. Thank you much and have an awesome day. Thank you.